Hi, I'm Kurt Jacobs, host and creator of Moxie Talk, and we're here live in Lexington, Kentucky at the All Tech Ideas Conference, better known as 119. And our guest today is Deborah Wilson. What is your title? I'm Senior Vice President of a company called Trust Bix, Inc. Okay. And what have you gotten out of All Tech Ideas Conference so far? And is this your first time? This is my second time at the conference. I spoke in the beef session last year. Uh, this year I'm speaking in the business session. Um, I've also attended both presidents clubs and it's uh, one of the few conferences where you bring some of the big thinkers that really are outside the box and it brings them all together and it's a great chance to network with them and learn. So I consider this to be one of the preeminent idea conferences in the world. Who and what inspired you on your career path? My family, okay. my children, my grandchildren, my love for the uh, agriculture industry, uh, the threat that I feel we're under from the general population, how they think about our practices, and, and there's a strong sense of pride in the agricultural community, and so what the producers aren't really telling everybody is how hurt they are by the attacks that are happening. Mm -hmm. Unfounded attacks in a lot of cases. Now, very different question, different slant. What's the best piece of advice ever given to you, Deborah? And it could be more than one, personal or professional. Don't underestimate yourself. I like that that's, one. That's probably one of the biggest ones, yeah. Now, for your, the best dreams of your ideas to come, say, how would you shape the world in 100 years? So from an agricultural perspective, I really want uh, to see um, the agriculture industry as a respected vocation. Um, there's an opportunity for us to change some of our practices for the better. Uh, there's an opportunity for us to collect data, to reassure the public about the practices that we're doing. Um, and in, in the future, um, I want there to be an agriculture industry that my kids that are developing that same passion for the industry, that they can move ahead and make a living in that industry. You know, we heard earlier today about the planet of plenty and uh, the ability to feed 10 billion people. Do you think we have the ability to do that if we get our heads together? We do if we can stop the plethora of misinformation about our practices. Some of the practices that the consumer feels threatened by are actually, they are no threat. But there's a, a sense of fear mongering from some of the companies. They're using some of these things as marketing tactics. Um, we need to create a really strong, strong sustainability story. We need to be able to validate and reassure consumers that what we're doing are safe practices and good practices. As soon as they take some of those tools, like genetically modified crops, away from us, um, that, that then lowers the amount of food we can produce. So they're giving us challenges in that way. Now, we do a much more formal studio-type interview that lasts about 30 minutes to an hour. So it's a pretty heavy question for this environment and this dynamic, but we love to always ask it of every guest we ever have on the program. When the great day comes, Deborah, you know, God forbid you walked out of the conference, it's your last day on earth. How do you want to be remembered by friends, family, colleagues, people in the industry, et cetera? So I had a, I had a career, about, you know, prior to coming to this country, uh, company, about five, you know, it ended that previous career about five years ago. It was a pretty comfortable career and my company expected me to stay until I retired. But my desire was to make a significant change in the agriculture industry. And my sector that I started out focusing on was the beef industry. And now my focus has grown beyond that to, uh, to want to validate and support the, the practices that agriculture uses. So I would love, first and foremost, uh, to inspire my grandchildren, my granddaughters, my grandsons to not be afraid to go into agriculture and that they can look back on me and say, you know, my Nana changed the industry. I think that's a great note to end on. Thanks so much, Deborah, for being on Moxie Talk with Kurt Jacobs. Okay, Thank you, Deborah, for being on Moxie Talk with Kurt Jacobs. And we'll be back with more from All Tech One Ideas Conference in Lexington, Kentucky. Mm -hmm.